What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Vashon, and we back on this channel called The Lunatic Kicks. And today, I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 releases of the month of April. I'm going to be talking with y'all about the top 10 releases of the month of April. I made the list. I made my list. I got the sneakers on there and all that. And I'm about to share it with you guys. This is going to be the first official video on this channel. So I'm hoping that this actually gets some views, maybe some likes, so we can get our channel out there. I'm going to be showing you the top 10 sneaker releases of April. Man, let's jump right into it. I won't do no more talking. Let's get it. This is them broke days. Still tripping up my old ways. For number 10, we got the Nike Air Max 97s, the CR7 uh, Christian Ronaldo. This is a sneaker collab with Christian Ronaldo, the soccer player. If y'all did not know, he's a famous soccer player. He collab with a pair of Nike Air Max 97s. Bro, these are fire all red these shoes actually have a story behind them about christian ronaldo i hope you guys read about it. i have read about it these are fire all red they come with two pair uh two pair of laces green and yellow so you can change it up and the retail price for these nike air max 97s with christian uh christian ronaldo will be 170 you know what i'm saying that's not bad and on the hill tab it says cr7 to represent Chris, uh, christian ronaldo the famous soccer player man this is a this is a dope collab bro these ones are fire all red I, I would love to go after them, even though I'm not, but these are fire. I would definitely rock. So for number 10, we got the uh, Air Max 97 patchwork collab with Christian Ronaldo. I got rounds from all uh, that surround the plug. They're coming in at number 9 on this list. The Nike Air Force One Upstep Force is Female. Bro, these are heat. And I'm saying, listen, I don't know if I can rock them because on the back it says Force is Female on the back of them. But these are heat, you know what I'm saying? All white forces, a big embroidery that says Nike on it. And it's all red. Bro, these is heat. If it didn't say forces female on the back, I might have grabbed. It's something a little different, but this is for the females. Bro, these is fire. So any girl who's looking for some fresh kicks, y'all should definitely cop up on these. Retail price for these uh, forces female Air Force Ones is $200. Ah, it's not bad. Regular white forces, regular go for 90, some for 100, but this is a this is kind of like an exclusive, I think. But these are fire. So, 200 for uh, retail for these uh forces female Air Force Ones. I don't think that's that bad. Okay, the fashion icon. I've been really on my grind. Coming in at number 8 on this list, we have the Air Jordan 18 Toros. Listen, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not a big fan at all of the 18s. I'm keep real, I think they're terrible. But I had to put them on this list because some people like 18s, you know what I'm saying? Some people really do like 18s. Some people like all retros, you know what I'm saying? But these 18s are not my style, but we got the Air Jordan 18 Toros. I guess the Air Jordan 18 is trying to make a comeback with this all red Toro color, uh, black missile. These, these are just terrible. 18s are terrible in general, but I'm not here to hate, you know what I'm saying? If you like the 18s, go ahead, cop some 18s, you know what I'm saying? These ones might be fire to you. They retail at 225. Ah, that's that's no, that's 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 pretty good. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. That's pretty good. 225 retro 18s. Retail on Jordan is really 190 to 200. So you might be paying a little bit more extra for these if you really rock with them. I, I think that's too out of a price because 18s are really terrible in my opinion. Call that shit a Big Mac. I flip a couple burgers and I make it. Coming in at number seven on this list, we got the Air Jordan 32 Black Cats. Again, I'm not really a big fan of 32, but listen. I will ball in them. They are a great hoop shoe, you know what I'm saying? I have no problem balling in some uh, retro 32s. They clean for ball. That's the only thing I really use them for, but like going out wise, I don't see me really putting a fit together with these. I can't rock these out like when I go out somewhere. I think this is just a, a strict hoop shoe, but they come in the black cat colorway. These are honoring Michael Jordan's six championship rings, you know what I'm saying? So I guess these really gonna be an exclusive. These are set to drop on April 7th, 2018. Features an icy sole on the bottom, Jordan logo on the hill. The dope part about this shoe is the back, it has like it has like six circles going down the back of the shoe. It says like 91, 92, 90, all the years that Jordan won a championship, it has six circles. They like green little circles, but this is this is a dope shoe, man, because it's honoring Michael Jordan six rings. I, I like them, but I, I will only hoop in them. They some exclusive sneaks, but I only hoop in them. But they are heat, and these are coming in at number seven. I think they are uh, set to be retail, maybe two hundred, maybe even two twenty five. So I don't know about that. Set price, the retail price is one ninety actually. So I don't know if y'all if y'all rock with the thirty twos like that, go ahead, cop them for one ninety retail price. That's a dope shoe. Honor Michael Jordan six uh six championship rings. Retail price one ninety for the uh, Air Jordan thirty two Black Cats. 
Go ahead, try your luck if you really rock with 32s like that. But that's Cummy coming in at number seven. Rap shit is such an easy task. I kill shit. Like coming in at number six, we got the Adidas Akron. I don't even know how to say the name. It's called the Adidas Arkin. I, I guess that's what they call. Features boost midsole. Uh, it's like it's kind of like a. It's on that NMD line, Adidas NMD line. But yeah, this this shoe has like some freaky lacing. It's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? I can rock with it. It's something I could wear. Like a, a gym shoe. And no, I can really rock. I can rock it anywhere if you really think about it. The colorway features tan and uh, royal blue. Has a boost midsole, so you know they're very comfortable. That boost is crazy, bro. And the best part about it is the lacing for me, cause these is this is some dope lacing. You know what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. For everybody who would like boosts out there, I think this is a, a good cop, you know what I'm saying? Adidas Akron, I guess that's what they call it. Boost Missile, tan colorway with, uh, features some royal blue. I don't know what type of blue that is. I think it's royal blue. Set to be a very comfortable shoe as always. Anything with boosts is a comfortable shoe. Cause I know a lot of people who really like boosts and like to wear comfortable sneakers. I think this is gonna be a comfortable sneaker. This is set to release on April 4th. This is a heat shoe. I can see myself buying it. And I don't know what the set price is for these Adidas are. Because it says NA right now. So I don't know. But maybe retail. These will be sold at retail. Maybe the same price as some uh, NMDs. Regular NMDs. But these are dope. So check out these Adidas. They set to drop April 4th. So look out for them. As for number 6 on this list. We got the Adidas Acra. So check these out. If I said it, I meant it. I said I repent it. The shit I invented. Coming in at number 5. We got the Nike PG2's Mamba Mentalities. Bro, these are dope look at the freaky designs on the side purple colorway mixed with some uh blue yellow orange type red i don't know these are just straight dope bro shoes are inspired by uh uh past kobe releases i think on the kobe 6 is like the most that it looks like i think it looks like the kobe 6 pg2s are similar to the kobe 6 chaos they look exactly like them bro these is super dope paul george has been killing it lately with uh his sneaker releases it features it look at the design on the side of the shoe i don't even know what that is on this on the side of the shoe it look like a cat mixed with a, a swordfish i don't even know uh, these are just dope bro uh shoes are inspired by kobe pg2s are set to release on april 13th i think this is uh paul george's best colorway I can definitely see myself buying these because, bro, these are just fire. Like, the, the colorway to me is just fire. And then the fact that the shoe just uh, inspires past Kobe releases, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's just straight dope, bro. These shoes will be dropping April 13th, and they uh, price at 110 Number five, we got the Nike PG2 Mamba Mentalities. So listen, man, y'all got to look out for these. Jason Voorhees just counted up four G's. Coming in at number four, we got the Nike Air Vapor Max 97 Silver Bullets. Everybody know the Silver Bullets is a classic, but this is the uh, this is the Silver Bullets and the Vapor Max model. Features that clear bubble missile that the Vapor Max got, the ones you see on the off whites, all that. Like these are just fire. It's just a classic put on to the Vapor Max. Like I don't really got to talk much about this shoe. I had to put it on the list because you just got to You got to pay your homage to the to the classics, you know what I'm saying? The Silver Bullets. I actually had these in middle school, and them Jones was beat. I wore them Jones every day to uh, middle school. These are my favorite shoes at the time, and they, they was like really dick. I wish I still had a picture of them, because they was really beat. These Vapor Max uh, Silver Bullets are set to drop on April 12th. The price point for these will be 190 Not bad at all. Check these out for sure, and I'm saying number four, Vapor Max Silver Bullets. OJ, she get me standing OVA, yo niggas circuit. Number three, we got the Nike Air Foam Posit One Element Rose. Bro, straight though. Yo, these is just fire, bro. I don't even know what to say. I love foam posits, and I'm saying I only had one pair. I only had one pair of foam posits ever, and I traded them away. I customized them and all that. I don't know why I did all that. So I really love foam posits. They might be uncomfortable, but they fire. And especially in this colorway, bro, look at these joints, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, they look kind of similar to the uh, the coppers, the uh, foam posit copper joints. They look just like them. These foam posits are set to drop April 20th, and the price point for these are 230 I usually see foam posits go for 250 at retail, but I don't know. I guess they dropped $20 for y'all. Bro, y'all gotta keep your eye on these. These are fire, you know what I'm saying? Rose gold colorway. Phone posit one, phone posit ones are better than phone posit twos for y'all out there. I'm sorry. I like the OGs. I like the classics. You know what I'm saying? So these are set to drop April 20th. Price point 230. Look out for these. And number three, we got the phone posit element rose. Okay, maybe it's a broken heart. Write my only love. Man, we dropping into the top two. And at number two, 
Come on, man. We got the Air Jordan 1 Shadow OGs, bro. Oh, my God. Can't wait for this shoe to release. This sneaker is going to sell out like super fast. These are set to drop April 14th. Price point 160, bro. Resale might be good. You know what I'm saying I, I think the resale on these is gonna be great. Everybody know about the shadows, bro. The pan leather looks crazy in these pictures. Shadows was last seen in 2013 and they make their return in 2018 on April 14th. Yo, I wanna get my hands on the shoe. I ain't gonna hold you. I really do. I actually wanna get two pair. But I, I probably won't. I probably miss out on these. I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't gotta really say too much about the shadows, bro. Classic, bro. One that I, I could put shadows. Like if you ranking ones, I put shadows in my top five. I don't know about y'all, but I put shadows in my top five. Just an OG. Just a class. Just, just fire, bro. And gray is my favorite color mixed with black. Come on, bro. You can't go wrong with a pair of shadows, bro. And they only going for 160. Maybe you can and you can flip these. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy, bro. So definitely keep your eye on these uh Air Jordan 1 shadows, bro. Price point 160, dropping April 14th. Number two, we got the shadows. But number one, I had to give it to him. We got the Yeezy 500 blush. Yeah, the previous pair is called the uh, the Desert Rat 500s. Bro, these 500s look fire. I ain't gonna hold you. We finally seeing something new from Yeezy. You know what I'm saying. The, the, the 350s had, they stretched, they stretched, you know what I'm saying? Them Joe's been out for a grip, and we finally seeing something new from Yeezy, bro. These is gonna sell out crazy, bro. I, I just know everybody is gonna have these. I don't really get too excited about Yeezys because I know they're gonna sell out, you know what I'm saying? And the resale is gonna be, always gonna be good. The price point of these is only 200, bro. Resale is easily going for 600 plus easily so if you can get your hands on these for 200 bro it's a must cop bro because you this is an easy come up 600 plus easy like nothing less probably i think 600 is the lowest they probably go for these are fire i think the uh the blushes are better than the desert rats in my opinion the colorway is just way better it just looked like some it's like you it's like sand it's like gray like gray sand I don't, I don't know how to explain the colorway, but like these are just fire, and I'm, I'm just happy we seeing something new from Yeezy. These is set to drop April 14th, also price point at 200. And this sneaker does not come with boost. I know some of y'all might be mad at that, but this sneaker does not come with boost. <laughs> He's gonna be pissed. I had to get the number one to the Yeezy 500. You know what I'm saying? That's number one on this list. Again, it's set to drop April 14th, price point at 200. Number one Yeezy 500 blush. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's the top 10 sneaker. Well, my list. My list. My top 10 sneakers uh, set to release in April. I hope this was a good list. If I give you some good feedback about the shoes, the release dates, all the prices, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, y'all go out there and cop these yourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because most of the shoes I named on this list, they might sell out fast. Keep it real. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe to the Looney Kicks, you know what I'm saying? That's just a temporary name. I, I still think we might be changing it. But uh, yeah, that's my top 10 uh, sneaker releases of April. It's your boy Vashon. We checking in, we checking out. I just stole that from Tony D too wild, but it's cool, baby. We out. It's new hoes, it's skanky. She let me fuck her with the pinky. She threw it back on me like she was pinky. Porn star shit, she really reppin' that lifestyle. Plumbing out your bitch the way I'm laying that pipe down. Lifestyle, that's my time deception. I'm up for promos and star in the field like Tony Romo. And when that new shit get old, I turn it Dak Prescott. Pop up on them niggas like Houdini. Where's your genie?